Okay, so I've got my local environment here with two 5090s ready to go here. I've cleared everything off of it. No processes running. I've done that because I need all the memory that I have to be able to pull this off here. So to load that 120 billion parameter model from GPT OSS here, if I come over to this middle window, I've got a little shortcut here set up so I don't forget this. So essentially, I'm going to be using Llama CPP with this. I've got the 120 billion parameter GGUF model here from ggml-org here, the people that make Llama CPP. This is their organization out on Hugging Face. I'm publishing this remotely so I can access it. And then the important part here, way at the end, I'm setting this parameter. Make this a bit bigger here for you. So I'm setting this parameter that will adjust so that two experts here, two of the experts will be kept on the CPU. You could adjust this to three or 20 or whatever you'd need. But I found that if I just move two, the first time I tried three, but if I just move two, I can actually pull this off here. So I'm going to, well, actually, let me show you what happens here if I have, if I don't have this parameter on the end here. Even with all the memory in the world, it's not enough to load the entire model as well as have room for the key value cache. And so it's going to try here and then it's going to fail in a moment. All right, so you can see there it is, it failed. But if I just add back that one parameter here, the MOE2, two of the experts are allowed to reside on the CPU or in the memory for the CPU. Wow, okay, did that not fit today? I will crank it up to three. I know that's worked before. Oh, I changed the batch size, that's what it is. I'm gonna drop off the batch sizes that I've adjusted here, that's gonna affect memory. So two here without adjusting, the, I'll use the defaults for batch size. All right, so that's up and running now. So I can actually have it rewrite some of my code here inside of NeoVim. Let's say rename SSE to, just give it a new name basically. It goes through all this code and update all the usages of the SSE variable. It was incredibly fast there. Look at the timing on this here. 119 tokens per second. This is the 120 billion parameter model with two of the experts on the CPU. I'm getting 120 tokens per second off of it. That might've been hard to see because of the showing of the diff here. So let's find something else we can do here to show you this. So let me come into the app here. So when you start Llama server, you'll have this Llama CPP chat app available on whatever port you bind to. And yeah, we can just come in here and ask it a question. So the one I always like to do, Ask it for Tower of Hanoi and pick a language. So in Python, for example, watch this. Okay, it already did the thinking. It's actually generating the response now. Look how fast this is just flying. It is singing at this point. Now, I don't think this will include the timing in this interface, but I can go over the command line and see the timing in a moment here. Just thousands of tokens too. 119 tokens per second there. 2000 tokens were generated. 119 tokens per second with the biggest model, which means it's the most capable model as well. I haven't had time to do a comparison between it and the 20 to see what the quality difference is like, but the fact that I can run it and I can run it at almost half the speed of the 20. So I can get like 260 tokens per second on the 20 model. I'll show you that here. I'll switch this over to the 20 size here. So instead of 120, this will be the 20 billion parameter model. In this case, I don't need to defer any experts to. CPU memory. I'm going to clear this out here so that we don't have any history there. And then come back here, new conversation. Let's refresh. That's the 20 billion parameter model. Paste this in here. So paste this in here and go. This is even faster than the previous one. It's almost too fast to even realize that it's faster, but it's already done at that point in time. And I bet you it generated a similar number of tokens. Oh, okay, just about half the tokens this time, but you can see here 270 tokens per second. So 20 billion parameter model, I'm getting 270 tokens, 120, which is six times bigger, I am getting 110, 100, 110 to 120, 119 tokens per second. Anyways, I wanted to share it in case anybody wanted to see it, wanted to try it out. You'll need to use Llama CPP for it with this specific model, and you need to specifically use that new parameter that was literally just merged a couple of days ago here on like August 4th, 2025, this new parameter is merged. It makes it incredibly easy to offload a subset of the experts into CPU memory, which just frees up enough space then. Because I think, like I said, the model's about 65 gigs. You're going to need some memory space for your key value cache. When you add those two together, well, the 64 that you would have with two GPUs here, 
is not quite enough. So when you offload a little bit, though, you can definitely get everything to fit and get things to sing as well. It's just incredibly fast. Oh, and if I tweak this, for example, like let's say I move 20 off, watch what happens to the timing here. So this is 120 model with 20 of the experts pushed off. I think there's 128 total. This is going to have a big impact on the timing. All right, let's come over here and let's just make a new conversation. So I'm back to 120 again with 20 experts off. This one, last time I checked it, yeah, you can already tell uh, just a magnitude difference in terms of speed. I was getting about 20 to 30 tokens per second, about 24 tokens per second when I moved 20 experts off. So you can see the difference between just moving a few experts and a lot of experts. And of course, then it's because it's moving stuff back and forth to do the computations. Yeah, right here. Do we have tokens per second yet? Probably don't see anything yet until it's completely done. I'll give it a second here to finish. And I'm wondering how much memory I'm using up with this right now. Okay, so the memory I'm using right now, if you only have 15090, you should be able to get this kind of performance though. And it's not terrible performance to have to get 24 tokens per second with a giant model like this. Because this is about 34 gigs of video memory. So that's close to what you could accomplish if you just have one card here. You might have to move like 22 or 24 experts off and maybe you'll drop down to 20 tokens per second. That's not unreasonable, actually. It's enough that you could actually assess some quality of the different models that way. All right, that's done now. Yeah, okay, in this case, I got 34 tokens per second, which is even better than what I saw before. So if you're curious about either model, try to load both of them. If you've got at least one GPU with the 32 gigs of RAM, it's worth a try.